Hey guys, it's Jack Miyar from the Red Arrivals, and today we're going to start with the Lightning Ancients. And as you can see, I do not have very high experience or levels on these guys, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a chance here. So starting with the Essence Master, everyone has access to this guy if you use the promo code Samurai. Um, he's the one that replaced Solric for me pretty quickly. So uh, let's get right in here and look at his skills. First ability, Essence Boost. Affected units gain 10% extra damage and generate additional 2 mana from all buildings they destroy for the next 42 seconds. So this is a very long timer on this ability. Uh, slight increase of damage. We're only talking about, what, maybe 3 DPS extra um, per unit. But then for multiple guys, especially Wardens and Soldiers, that's pretty substantial. And then the additional mana uh, is great because it allows us to cast his other abilities. Oops, sorry for that. Uh, looking at Lightning Bolt, calls down damage, dealing 188 to 208 damage or a certain amount of damage to a single target. The first time it strikes, it takes an additional amount of damage. And finally, his Spell Scroll. This is a really awesome ability, but you never know what you're going to get. So uh, Firestorm does damage over time. The freeze stuns targets, not as big as Four Veils freeze, but still fairly substantial. And then the Earthquake also dealing damage over time and double damage to walls. So let's go ahead and check out some replays. All right, so I uh, forgot to change my dragon here in this first attack. Um, I typically like to use Four Veil just because everyone has access to him. But uh, this time we're going to use Viscaria. Um, so... I'm going to actually attack through the bottom, even though there's more defenses there. Uh, the spell towers are going to take a while to get to. I can build up some mana, and uh, Viscaria is going to be able to take those guys to low HP. And then I'm going to use the five mana buff, the uh, essence boost on my troops, and build up a lot of mana very quickly and use it in an AoE, his third skill, the spell scroll, uh, around the stronghold several times. So we're going to go ahead and drop our dragon buddy. Up here at the top, take out these portals to, to build up some initial mana and um, get the timer for his dragon power. So that's going to take a minute. And I want to get him out of the way there. Wasted his skill one time, but that's all right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sweep them down to the bottom here. And straight back up. And down again one more time. And he's going to die. Yeah. All right, so we're in pretty good shape there. All of these buildings are low. Um, we're actually going to be able to use the third spell right now. Um, looks like the Earthquake skill, so now we can send everything else in. We don't have a terrible amount of time left right now, so we're going to go ahead and drop a bunch of these guys in the middle here. Cast the Lightning spell, kind of missed there off screen. Um, you can see the buff on them, so they do the increased damage uh, and get the extra mana. Um, my Paladins are taking a lot of damage there. They're all dead, but that's alright. Um, Kind of give you an idea of what all these spells look like. Go ahead and cast the lightning. And you can see that it destroyed um, the leftover health on that watchtower pretty quickly. We'll go ahead and cast it again on the base here just to see. That's, uh, you know, not bad damage. It, it did... Uh, take damage from the wardens there pretty quickly as well. Alright, here's our second attack and this time I did remember to swap out my dragon. Um, this base, the problem with a lot of the bases uh, that we run into are they leave too many buildings exposed for your, your dragons to build up timers. So people need to do a better job of defending as many of their buildings as possible so a dragon doesn't have a, t a chance to build up three or four of the dragon power um, in a short amount of time. So we're going to go ahead and attack from the south 
just because we're not cramped into the corner like the base is. Um, so we're going to drop four veil there on the left hand side. Just going to let him hang out here for a while and take out some of these buildings. He is starting to take damage, but um, he's got enough health to survive. Don't really need his freeze a whole lot against this base. So it's mostly just to make sure we create a nice funnel here. Um, and then I'm going to drop him in the bottom. And he's going to help us just with DPS for the long haul. So there's everything down. Want to buff everything up with the first skill. Increase damage slightly. Um, extra mana when buildings are destroyed, which we definitely like. Um, everything's staying alive, no issues um, because there are no death towers down at the bottom here. And we're just going to kind of save everything up for the ultimate ability. So there it goes. Going to cast it. There's the earthquake. Go ahead and cast it again. Another earthquake. Cast it again. Okay, I guess we really like earthquake. I was hoping to see if we could get um, one of the other spells. It looks like we can get it off one more time just so you can see what it looks like. Alright, so earthquake is the spell of choice <laughs> in this replay here. Alright, so I'm going to try one more attack here, and hopefully we can get some different spells besides Earthquake to show in this attack. So, I want to make sure still that I get a funnel. Um, it looks like our best place for access is going to be the northeast. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop Four Veil down here at the bottom, and we're just going to wait here for a while while he takes out some stuff alright and we're gonna go ahead and start creating the funnel and with this matchup I always drop my paladins with uh, each group of paladins with its own group of wardens but even with that happening you can see they decided to split up some so I'm gonna go ahead and use my freeze and keep using it and hey we got a freeze from the cast so that lasted a little bit longer go ahead and freeze again and here's ability another freeze and one more freeze so there we go, that's kind of the idea. Lightning that so it's no longer killing my guys. And we're pretty much done with the base. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the abilities of the Essence Master. Um, sorry that we didn't get a chance to see the Firestorm, but it's pretty similar to the Earthquake in its effectiveness. It just doesn't deal damage to walls. So uh, hopefully that gives you an idea and uh, let me know what you guys think.